Welcome back to The Factor. We can't say it enough. Everyone needs to take COVID-19 very seriously. There's a new variant out there and it comes with mild symptoms, but it may be even more contagious as ever. Joining us now here on The Factor Uncensored is Dr. Abdullah Kudraf. Dr. Kudraf, we're seeing those numbers rise again when it comes to COVID, and there's so many variants out there, and many of them are much more contagious, right? That's correct. Um, we are seeing this new variant called Omicron BA5, which as of last week seems to be the most common variant in the United States. And one of its features is it's highly contagious. Now, is it uh, as deadly as the other variants that we have seen, or this is more of just kind of knock you on your ass? That's right. Uh, somewhat of good news is this mutation, this variant, is not causing as much hospitalization or death like previous variants we've seen, but it's just uh, developed some ways to do a spin move around your immune system. So even if you had COVID before or have been vaccinated, this one will do that spin move, get into your system, make you a little sick. The good news is if you've had previous infection or vaccination, you are less likely to be hospitalized or die from it, but nobody wants to get sick. And we're seeing more people, obviously, this is the summertime, people are traveling, they're moving around and about. And uh, the, many of the airlines have relaxed their face covering policy. So uh, obviously people would be uh, infected more. We'll see more chances of, of this spreading again. Yeah, that's right. You know, people are getting out and about, rightfully so. We got to get on with our lives. But the more contact we have, the more a virus has a chance to spread. So now that we're seeing the surge, it's probably a good idea to take some precautions whenever you can. Uh, we have to go back to the basics, whether it's flu season or a COVID surge, we wanna make sure we're doing things like wash our hands, keep that hand sanitizer with us, um, avoid standing too close to somebody when they're talking. The last thing you want is someone to talk too close to your face, and then two days later, you're waking up with a sore throat or a headache or a runny nose. So trying to avoid it as best you can while the numbers are high is a great strategy. Absolutely. And what about children? Are they seeing the infection rates that we're seeing as adults or are they about stable or steady? It's pretty much across the board. I think what's happening now is because Omicron and Omicron BA5 are much milder um, in its nature, a lot of people are just not getting tested. So they're just saying it's a common cold. They feel sick for a couple of days and then they get back to their lives. Um, but we are seeing uh, the infection affect kids as well. And that's an important point also. We're not seeing the super high numbers as a result of so many people testing themselves at home and not reporting the results to the government where typically people were going to uh, testing sites and the government would have access to those numbers. Yeah, no, it depends. Even some of the home testing, companies are required to report it to the government. But I think it's more in lines of people just not testing at all because it's more mild. They stay at home for a few days, hopefully, and then they get over in a few days and they just get back to life without going through a test. But your best advice at this time, since we're seeing so many cases, not as severe, not as many hospitalizations and not as many deaths is to take the simple precautions that we have been using in the past to keep it down. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Washing your hands, hand sanitizer, maybe avoiding some large crowds. And I know everybody hates masks, but even I wear my mask when I'm going to get into a situation where I might be around some people who are infected. All right, Dr. Abdullah Kudrath, thank you for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored and for your medical advice. Obviously, we're, we're in for a long haul here. And I think, as many of you have said, as medical professionals, COVID is here to stay and we will see it in some form or fashion. So we have to just be prepared and get those shots and vaccinations and, of course, take the precautions with face coverings. Thank you, sir, for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored. Always good to see you.